Welcome back, Flare community. Today, we're going to be covering some of the most common questions I get asked about the Songbird Network and the Songbird Token. But before we jump in, I want to give you a quick recap on what the Songbird Network actually is. So the Songbird Network is the Canary Network for Flare. Now, what does this mean? What is a Canary Network? Well, a Canary Network is very similar to a test net, but with one very important difference. A canary network actually holds value. So when you receive Songbird on the Songbird network, it's going to be worth something. But in contrast, on a test net, there is no value actually held on the network. The Songbird network is also going to be somewhat of a test ground. So after a governance vote on the Flare network, these changes will first be implemented on Songbird to test and to make sure everything is running smoothly before carrying the changes over to the Flare network. There's going to be many different applications built on top of Songbird prior to going onto Flare, so this is something you should definitely pay attention to. So some of you may actually be expecting to receive Songbird on an exchange. Now, as the Songbird network is currently in observation mode, exchanges have been advised not to make the Songbird token available for sale or purchase until the observation mode has ended. And when can we expect the observation mode to end? On the 27th of September, so the next upcoming Monday. This also coincides with the listing of Songbird on BitTrue Exchange, which starts on the 27th. BitTrue Exchange is the only place you will be able to trade or buy Songbird tokens on this particular date. If you're interested in registering in advance and getting ready, you can find a link in the description of this video. So let's jump into the main questions. The most common question I receive is, how do I receive my Songbird tokens? How do I actually see them? So what you're going to have to do is install MetaMask add the Songbird network and connect to it. It's really simple and FTSOAU have created an absolutely incredible guide here. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically go through all of this process and show you exactly how to connect to the Songbird network and how you can see your assets. So the first thing we're going to do is look at MetaMask. MetaMask is just an extension for your browser and you can see the supported browsers here. They've got Chrome, Firefox, Brave and Edge. Now, after coming through the install process, you should have a little icon up here and this is the MetaMask icon. If you click this icon, you may have to go through a setup process, but you should see a screen similar to this. And as you can see here at the top, the default connection is the Ethereum mainnet. Now, there are other networks built in, but as the Songbird network is relatively new, we're actually going to have to add that. So in this um, document here by FTSOAU, you can just go down here and you get all of these um, different fields which you can add the network. So what you do is basically click on the MetaMask icon, click on the networks tab, and you want to add a custom RPC. Now I've already copied these details before, so they're already pre-filled. So I will just populate them very quickly. Um, there we go. Click on save. And hey presto, we have the Songbird network. Now, if you close that, here we go. I have the um, Songbird tokens. I also have some wrapped Songbird too. Now, you're not actually going to be able to see this initially. Um, basically, you need to add this token as well. So initially you will see Songbird and however much you have. And to see your wrapped Songbird tokens, even though you won't actually have any yet because you haven't wrapped any, um, what you will need to do is add the token address. And again, this is very simple. You can just copy this address and you just click back on MetaMask, add a token, add the contract address. And there you go, it's pre-populated WSGB, wrapped Songbird. Total decimal places, 18, click next. 
and that's my balance because I have previously wrapped some songbird tokens. So add the token and then we go back and this is the account with two different tokens, songbird and wrapped songbird. Really simple, really straightforward. Now, another question which I get asked a lot is what happens if you're trying to connect via a hardware device like a ledger or a treasure? So what you need to do is you need to click this button here and as you can see there are a couple of different options. You can import accounts and that's if you have a secret phrase or a private key but you also have this additional option of connecting a hardware wallet. So you can actually click this and you can connect a ledger device and go through all of the setup process or you could even connect a Trezor device. So you don't actually need to create a new wallet and then send your assets to the MetaMask wallet. You can just connect your Ledger device directly to MetaMask. It's really simple. Now, here's the big question. How do I delegate my votes? Well, there are a couple of different options. You can actually download the Bifrost wallet, which is, is not coming soon. It's actually just recently been launched in both the Play Store and the App Store, so for Android and iOS. Now, if you saw yesterday's video, we actually went through the process of wrapping, unwrapping, and delegating your Songbird tokens on the Songbird network. It's really simple and really intuitive. I think the Bifrost wallet is a great option for those who want a free solution. In addition to this, there are many different signal providers who are building their very own web applications. And as I mentioned in a tweet earlier, I had the privilege of testing three different ones and now there's actually some more available. So this is Best FTSO and you know, the process is very simple. You go to the website, you log in with MetaMask and you go through the wrapping process. You select how much you would like to wrap or how much you would like to delegate and just click buttons, it's very simple. Uh, we also have one here from FTSO AU and they've done a really great job too, looking very sleek. And finally, we have FTSO EU. Now, all of these options are great and there's even more options available. Now, something else that I would like to bring to your attention is this website here. It's the Songbird Explorer. Now, obviously on this site, you can see the blocks filling up there and the amount of transactions. It's all very exciting, but something else that you can do is also search for your address. So you can just pop in your um, address here, your Songbird address, and you can see I have some tokens here and I also have some wrapped tokens too. So if you're wondering if you have tokens and you're struggling to connect to the network, if you wanted to check quickly just to cause some peace of mind, you can do so by simply adding your address up here. Another great resource that we're going to have um, as part of the Fleur community is this here by Fleur Metrics, and you can follow them on Twitter at Fleur Metrics. Now, they have created this website and they have um, a large percentage of the uh, delegators here and it shows you exactly how much voting power they have. And as you can see, the Bifrost Oracle is definitely topping the charts here. Um, FTSO EU, we've got AU, we've got UK, we've got Scandi nodes, Best FTSO, AFTSO, and many more. So this is great to see what kind of ratios the community is thinking and how they're trying to delegate their assets. In regards to the signal provider specific applications, you can expect these to be refined in the coming days. I know a lot of them have gone through beta tests and they have received a lot of feedback. So you can expect these to gradually improve over time. So the options for delegating is both Bifrost Wallet and a signal provider specific web application. Another question which I get asked very often is the ability to earn rewards. Now, this is the whole point of delegation. You're delegating your vote to a signal provider, and if they provide good and accurate data, you will receive a reward for doing so. So you can earn rewards, but these rewards can be claimed just once per week. And if you don't claim these rewards within three months, they will be forfeited. Another question which I get asked a lot is about 
If you have some wrapped songbird, can you send wrapped songbird on the network? And sure, you know, if you have any assets in this wallet, you can send them. And it's just a case of clicking on a particular asset and clicking send. You're going to have addresses, public addresses of the wallets which you own, whether this is a Bifrost wallet or something else. Um, you can just type in that address and send it as you normally would send any other asset. Now, you can send both uh, the Songbird token and any other token, whether that's wrapped Songbird or whether that's something completely different like uh, Canary Dollars from Flare Finance. In addition, if you have wrapped Songbird in your account and you have already delegated it, once you send the wrapped Songbird, you will no longer receive the delegated rewards. The rewards will reset and the recipient of the wrapped songbird will then have the option to delegate their vote again. Finally, I want to quickly circle back to this article here. Flare reserves the right to roll back and or take down the network and restart from Genesis. Genesis meaning the very beginning. So, you know, this is very important to realize we're still in observation mode and the network could reset if there is problems, it could go back and what does this reset mean? It means that the Songbird tokens will be redistributed as if the network just started again. So with that being said, we've got the 27th coming up, a very exciting time indeed. It's going to be listed on BitTrue, we're going to have price discovery and I'm very excited to come out of observation mode and see what the Songbird network really has to offer. And if you have any other questions surrounding Songbird, please let me know in the comments section. With that being said, I'm wishing everyone an absolutely fantastic week. And until next time, I'm out. Mission Control, we have liftoff.